everyone, it's Tanny Games here. Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of the Discord Dream Snap review video. So if you haven't had a chance to see part one, make sure you do check that one out as well. I'm very, very excited to get into this. As I mentioned briefly in the beginning of the first video, uh, voting for me this week has been abysmal. I have been finding nothing but off theme submissions. Well, mostly. I wanted to do a voting video, but with how low the kind of like quality has been that I've been coming across, not even like low quality. I don't want to say low quality. They're just off theme. That's what I mean by that. They're just off theme. None of them have anything to do with uh, working in the valley, Monsters Inc or you know just working in general like nothing they don't tap into they literally don't touch on any of those three topics so it's like the furthest thing from it and it's a struggle I have found a few nice submissions if I can find enough I will do a sort of my favorites from voting submission uh video but it just depends on if I can get enough to make it a video worthwhile but that being said, the submissions in Discord are absolutely fantastic. So I'm really excited to show those off because you guys do it fantastically and perfectly each and every week without fail. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm absolutely obsessed with the snaps you guys have in Discord. Uh, if you do want to be featured in a video like this, if you are new to the community, because we have grown quite a bit, feel free to join my Discord. Link will be in the description down below and you can post your dream snaps in the Discord, uh, sorry, in the dream snap channel. And then they could be featured in a video just like this one. Anyway, I've gone on for long enough. Let's jump over to Discord and take a look at your fantastic 10 out of 10 4K worthy submissions. So let's start off here with UV Neon Galaxy, who's come up with this employee of the month snap based around a chef in a kitchen. And this is fantastic. This is brilliant. This is the kind of submission I wanted to see when voting. You know, a clear indication of a job or something like that. Some sort of work base snap. Uh, I love this. I think it's very creative, very fun. Definitely has the Monsters Inc. vibes and theming. You know, we've got Mike in the shot. We've got the monstrous, uh, like, plushies. We also have the Sushi Chef in the background as well, which is fantastic. I love the framing of this shot. You know, the way we've got some of the sushi and food dishes at the very front left. We've also got this beautiful uh, sort of cherry blossom tree here on the right, which I think looks stunning. Yeah, this is a really, really fun snap. Definitely has those work vibes and the Monsters Inc. kind of vibes from the challenge. Uh, we've got the employee of the month uh, plaques and photo frames on the wall as well, which ties into that kind of employee of the month theming. So all in all, I think this is an absolutely fantastic snap and what a way to start off this video. Next up, we have a submission from Doodles and this is a toy shop themed snap, which I think is really, really fun. I love the fact that you've used the um, the gift bag uh, accessory kind of to tie in with those shopping themes and vibes. We've definitely got the Monsters Inc. vibes, you know, we've got Mike in the shot, you know, we've got a couple of monstrous plushies and things like that. You're definitely dressed in a, a formal workwear. I'm going to specify formal workwear. I realised I didn't sort of make the point in the last video. Obviously, I'm aware different jobs have different styles of dress some sort of more hard wearing labor based uh clothing like dungarees or or sweats or you know <laughs> kind of things like that but then there's also the formal side where you wear suits and things like that so um so long as it looks like a work attire in the sense of the job that's happening <laughs> like it works I don't want anyone to think that I'm assuming that all workwear is suits and ties because it's definitely not um but yeah you definitely have those more like formal work office vibes 
Um, I definitely love the toy shop vibes of everything. I think that's very fun and playful. Um, yeah, great, great snap. It's really fun and creative. Next up, we have a submission from Mike. Mike does fantastic snaps each week. I really, really like this setup, you know, definitely got the city core kind of vibes. We've got all the monsters gathered around to watch you get employee of the month. I love that Sully looks like he's annoyed that he's lost out on that employee of the month award. You know, we've got the trophy here and everything. Uh, you look fantastic. I love the clothing choices. I think it really ties into a workwear aesthetic as well. And definitely lean into those monstrous vibes with the, your appearance and everything like that. I think this is very, very fun. I think this is very creative. So yeah, I, I expect this will do well. Uh, you know, no surprises from you. It's a fantastic dream snap. Next up, we have a snap from Say Hi Joel. And this is fantastic. This is really, really good. I love the office setup with the Monsters Inc. desk. The way they kind of vary a bit, like on this one, you've got the computer, this one, you've got files and paperwork and things like that. We've got the cabinets in the back, all the monster of the month awards what are they <laughs> employee of the month awards and plaques all on the walls i think that's really fun your character's definitely dressed in those kind of like monstrous vibes and aesthetic whilst wearing a formal kind of office wear outfit which i think is fun very creative uh very playful definitely a fun fun submission next up we have a snap from rainbow I, I love the quality on this snap, like how high def it is. Jeez, this comes out crystal clear on my computer, fantastic. Um, yeah, I love this, this office desk setup. I love how you've created like an L-shaped desk by using two desks. That is so fun and creative. What a brilliant way to kind of uh, create a bit of uniqueness in your snap. Uh, you know, it's still a similar desk item that we've seen in a lot of other submissions my own included you know I'm not saying that as a dig um <laughs> but I love this you know just to create something a bit different something with a bit more shape to it I kind of wish I'd thought of this because I think this is very fun and playful I love how your character looks definitely looks like they're dressed for a day in the office while still maintaining those monstrous vibes and appearance you know we've even got Mike here as well We've got the villager of the month kind of like plaque here, which I think ties into the employee of the month challenge. And then I love that you've got this sparkle here from you uh, getting rid of whatever accessory or, or whatever it was that you had. Um, I think that's fun because it just adds a bit of sparkle and magic to the sh shot, which I think is, yeah, just enjoyable to see. Fantastic job on this dream snap. Next up, we have a snap from my new account. Uh, I like how this turned out. <laughs> I like how it turned out. I think it wasn't too bad. Uh, we do have Mike here. Uh, I wanted it to make it look like he was presenting the award and he kind of hid himself away. It was never intentional to have him hidden away, but I just couldn't get him in a better position uh, without trying to trap in him, which I thought would have looked a bit weird. I mean, he was already trapped in enough, uh, but like if I just put a bunch of items around him, it would have bugged me. Um, <laughs> So he is kind of hidden off to the side. I love that I've got this kind of like monstrous door here with the giant eyeball. It almost looks like another monstrous villager, so to speak. Uh, we have the desks here with the work items like all the files and things like that. I did place a couple of monstrous plushies to act like they were employees and myself coming up to get the trophy. Um, I couldn't think of what item to use as a trophy because obviously I didn't have uh, the piston cup. I should have the dream snap award. I don't know why I didn't use that here. I, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I kind of ended up using this incense burner to pretend it was a, a trophy. <laughs> I'm not sure if that comes across, but that was the idea. You know, we've got some files in the background as well. Um, and also the balloons to tie into the celebration point. And then I tried to make my character look a bit monstrous. And then I went for this yellow tracksuit to kind of make it look like I was uh, 
part of the the CDA, whatever it's called, uh, that work with uh, the Monsters Inc kind of vibe. So this is what I ended up coming up with for that account. Then next we have my main account. We have the Mulan kind of trophy here, which again, working for that Monsters uh, employee of the month kind of vibe. Uh, we've got the Dream Snatch trophy in the background. We've also got the Villager of the Month plaque. Uh, so yeah, I definitely wanted to give those celebratory kind of vibes, but I definitely wanted to give the monstrous vibes as well. So we've got a lot of the sort of scare canisters dotted around, lots of files and things like that. Uh, <laughs> we also have the comedy night sign here, which I just thought would tie in well to that kind of like Monsters Inc vibe, but also tie into Mike, like perhaps around the office is trying to promote his own shows and stuff like that. Like that's kind of the vibe that I wanted to give. <laughs> um, we also have the plushies here, which are acting as the employees. You know, we've got Coconut LeFou, we've got the little frog plushie, we've got the alien plushies, we've got this mannequin as well. So that's kind of the vibes I wanted to give off with that. Of course, we've got Mike in the shot. I had to include him as well. And we've gone for a very formal style look whilst also still looking quite monstrous as well. I do worry that this shot might be a little bit busy. Um, I kind of wanted to make it feel full. I, I know offices that I've worked in or been to sometimes are jam-packed full of clutter and files and items. So I kind of wanted to represent that in a way, but I do realise it makes the shot look a bit busy. Um, but hopefully this still does well and yeah fingers crossed <laughs> next up we have a submission from wolfie and i really like this i love that you've got the dream snaps trophy here to show you being employee of the month we've definitely got the monsters ink vibes in this dream snap you know your character's looking very very monstrous love the choice of skin color and the horns and everything like that um, I love the employee of the month kind of wall piece here as well. We've got all the files and books which kind of gives it that work environment. So yeah, I think this is a really good snap. Not a bad use of an old build that you had. Next up we have a submission from Lainey Faye. Uh, this is fantastic. I really like this snap. I think it's really good. I love this office setup here uh, with all the, what do you call them? Computers. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes words escape me. All the computers on the desks and things like that. It's definitely got that work vibe. And I love that you've included Donald instead. Uh, this outfit definitely gives very business, official, professional kind of vibe. Uh, so I absolutely love that. I think it's very different, very unique. I think your own character looks great with the formal workwear and things like that and the giant pencil. This definitely has a typical office vibe, which I think is very, very fun, very classy and sophisticated. I love this. This is an absolutely standout submission. Love the wallpaper choice. I think I mentioned it in the first video when someone else had it. And yeah, I, I think it's really, really nice. I love the wall decor choices. I think you've done brilliantly with that. Very bright, very vibrant. Yeah, I mean, it's Lainey. Come on, Lainey always does amazing. Next up, we have a submission from Fora Fora, who uh, has this snap where Sully is very unhappy that his employee of the month... Uh, <laughs> award has been taken by the one and only Fora Fora. Uh, <laughs> I think it's so funny. I love it. I, lo I love an expressive uh, character in a shot. I think it's so much fun. Uh, I love that we've got a little bit of an office setup. You know, we've got the desk here. We've got the files and things like that. You know, we've got this couch, like as if that's kind of like a waiting room space uh, before someone would eventually meet with the employee or something like that. We've obviously got the trophy to represent you get an employee of the month. And we've got the employee of the month award uh, sort of 
decor, wall decor here. I love how your character looks very professional, uh, but with those Monsters Inc. vibes with your appearance, obviously the hard hat as well. Yeah, this is a fantastic dream snap and I expect this will do well. Next up, we have a submission from Wisteria Crossing and I love this. It's definitely kind of giving almost like a, I'm kind of getting almost like a witch magic kind of vibe from this snap. Uh, like almost like you work in a apocryphary. Is that how you say it? Apocryphary? One of those things anyway, like that's the kind of vibes that I'm getting uh, with this snap, which I think is fun, very playful. You've definitely got that workwear inspired look with the kind of like jacket and the formal pleated skirt and things like that. But you definitely got those monstrous vibes with the Monsters Inc. kind of appearance. Next we have a submission from Cole and I really, really like this snap. It's so good, it's so good. Um, I love, I've got to point it out in case anyone doesn't notice. Look at Mike here. Look at Mike, but look, it looks like his eyeball is floating in the water machine thing. Ah! I'm sorry, but that is so funny. I, I, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. It looks so good. Uh, obviously, we've got this Roz inspired character, you know, the Boo look, the Sully look. Celia and it's definitely got those Monsters Inc vibes which I love. I love the playfulness of the rugs here, very creative, very fun. We've definitely got those work inspired vibes with all the files, you know, the canisters and stuff like that. We've got all the villager of the month plaques and things going on in the wall which I think is fun and I love how your character looks, definitely got those Monsters Inc vibes but a formal workwear appearance which I think is really really good. So yeah I think you've done really really well on this snap, it's really fun and creative and Honestly, the, the mic bit is just killing it for me. I absolutely love it. It's just, yeah, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Next up, we have a submission from Kat, who has this almost like a candy store kind of vibe, maybe a little cafe bakery kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, this is really, really fun and creative. Uh, I love all the kind of like the sweets and the food and things like that. I think that's very fun. We've got Sully in the background as well. You know, I'm imagining this as the like number one food spot in uh, the Monsters Inc. world kind of thing where everyone comes to just hang out. Uh, I love that you've got the trophy there to kind of represent you getting employee of the month. I think that's a fantastic tie-in. We definitely have those kind of monstrous vibes, the work vibes and the sort of award celebration vibe. So I think you've hit all the nails on the head. I think this is an absolutely fantastic dream snap. That we have a submission from Aquahex and I really, really like this dream snap. I love how your character looks. She's definitely got those monstrous vibes and appearance. Uh, I love the kind of like formal work clothes from your character. Uh, we also have the kind of celebratory vibes with the balloon, the cake, you know, we've got the villager of the month plaque on the wall. So it's definitely tying into that celebratory employee of the month vibe, as well as the traditional work vibe and with all the books and things like that and the desk, it definitely has that kind of office appearance. And then of course we do have Sully and your own appearance tying in with those monstrous theming. I think this is a fantastic snap. It's very clear, it's not busy, you know, it's very concise. I can tell what the theme is of this dream snap from looking at this. Like it's not something that I could be like, what is the theme of this challenge? You know, it's very clear, straight to the point. I love how it looks. I love how crisp the image is. And yeah, I think you've done a fantastic job with this dream snap. And next up we have a submission from Zara here. Uh, this is fantastic. I really, really like this. I love how your character looks. Definitely got those formal work vibes. The giant pencil was such a fun and playful accessory. I'm loving all the snaps this week that have used that as an accessory. It's such a genius choice and I do really, really like it. Very smart, very clever to use. I love the desk setup. It definitely has those office vibes, you know. We've got Mike sat in the chair at the desk, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we even have the like snack machine, the vending machine, which I think is really fun. 
Definitely has an office vibe, like the walls looking very plain, very grey. Uh, definitely reminds me a lot of UK offices. Not all of them, of course. I'm sure there are lots of fun and nicely decorated UK offices, but there are definitely some that look like this. Um, <laughs> I love this. I think this is a fun setup. We've even got Roz in the snap. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant dream snap. Very fun, very playful and creative. Next up, we have a submission from Christian Henry. Now, I know Christian Henry's been kind of just getting back into the swing of things in terms of dream snaps. I know you had a bit of time off and stuff like that. So this one here, this is a realm submission. Um, I talked about my thoughts on realm submissions in the first video. Um, you do you, absolutely do you. I know not everyone has the time, not everyone has the energy or the spoons, or some people just want to take it easy and do a realm snap. That's what they find fun and enjoyable, and that is totally, totally fine for you to do. Um, it definitely is a Monsters Inc. themed uh, realm area. You know, this is one of the bedrooms that you can go in from the Monsters Inc. realm. So it is on theme and that's the most important part is whether or not it's on theme. And it is on theme. You know, your character's dressed uh, with the monstrous appearance so that works well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very, very much on theme. I do also want to apologise. I know my cat's meowing a bit. It is 5pm. He gets fed at 6. So he tends to get very meowy from about 4 o'clock. <laughs> I mean, he's usually quite meowy, but from 4 o'clock is usually when he starts whining for food. But he has to take his food at set times due to, um, some tablets he takes. So... Unfortunately, it's not feeding time for him for another hour. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is Christian's Hen uh, Henry's submission and I hope you do well. Next up, we have a submission from Jessica. Uh, this is your employee of the month submission. Now, obviously, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not a Beetlejuice theme submission? That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting with this. This looks very Beetlejuice themed. Like this looks like the the Miss Argentina or whatever she is. I forget, I forget off the top of my head. Uh, this looks like the two uh, recently deceased ghosts. I forget their name. Why? Do you know, I love Beetlejuice. I just can't think of their names. What is the couple's name? Oh, I'm, I'm so bad with stuff like this. I can never remember stuff like this. But that's the two uh, characters that, you know, the recently deceased ones. I think this is meant to be Beetlejuice. I'm assuming this is meant to be Lydia Dietz. Uh, I'm assuming. Correct me if I'm wrong. It definitely has the office vibes in terms of like the... Uh, like all the files and paperwork and stuff like that. I think this is a very, very fun reference. References can be risky if the rest of the stab or if it isn't very on theme. Like if you, if we didn't have all the files and the paperwork in this snot, it's not, <laughs> snap, <laughs> this shot. <laughs> Um, then I wouldn't get any work with files from it, but it does have that paperwork. We've got the desk chair, you know, that's meant to be a reception and stuff like that. So you get that across. But without that, like, and without knowing the scene in Beetlejuice, it would be hard to get that reference. But you have made sure to include those work and desk vibes so that it can tie into the theme. And that's kind of how you do these challenges when you make a reference. Um... I saw someone on Facebook, they made a post. Uh, they wanted to do a Wednesday inspired snap for this slumber party dream snap. And I, I basically told them, I said, look, I did a Wednesday inspired snap too, but for the bedroom beauty challenge, I was like, it did get 4K. Um, but basically references are fine to do so long as on paper without knowing the reference, so long as it looks like it fits the theme. If you don't have to know what the reference is to get it to the theme, then it's fine. It is totally fine to do because then it's going to come across to well to players that aren't aware of the theme. So whilst this is a theme shot, I do think you have tied it in very nicely to the work vibes, especially with all the paperwork pieces, the clear setup of a desk. It definitely looks like that 
office vibe you know it looks like these are other people that are perhaps in a waiting room either to see someone or perhaps their other employees that's definitely how you can see it um your own appearance kind of almost ties into the monsters ink vibe you know you've got the green skin you could almost look like a monstrous employee so i definitely think you've done well in terms of creating this scene and backdrop and being able to create something that is themed whilst uh and sort of like a reference while still relating very much to the challenge at hand so fantastic job on this uh, snap i think it's very fun very creative and very playful next up we have a submission from angel of thursday who's done a snap basically the grand reopening of harry Housen's. i think this is a really really fun dream snap obviously you've got mike and celia we definitely have those monsters ink vibes in terms of like the characters looking quite monstrous you know we've got the sushi chef uh you look like an employee you look like a chef or a worker at this restaurant uh, we have the sushi bits on the table at the front, which I think looks fantastic. The lighting is really good in this shot. I really love how this is set up. I think this is a, a fantastic scene. Definitely has those employee work vibes. It has the Monsters Inc. references. Yeah, this is a fantastic little setup. We've even got the Villager of the Month plaque on the wall to tie in with the kind of uh, employee of the month award kind of vibes this is fantastic really well done and i expect this will do very very well so fantastic work on this snap next up we have a submission from light spark and i love this i love how you've created almost like office cubicles fantastic i love using items like this like from the wanderers bundle or there is also the new daisy item as well the daisy store item you can use to create wall divides i absolutely love it i think it breaks up a space uh yeah fun to see i absolutely adore it but i love this you know we've kind of got the almost like the canteen section here we've got a separate office cubicle in the back here where like we have celia and Roz. you know we've got the desks here with the monsters sat at them again you've done the really smart thing of using like tables and things to put the monsters on like probably not the purple monster i wouldn't think because uh, the purple monster is quite big but like for the green one and this little blue one you've like put them on like a table type thing so that they can sit up like they're actually sat at the desk absolutely fantastic i don't know why i never thought of this it's such a genius idea uh obviously love that you've included sully i love how your character looks she's definitely got those work wear vibes kind of appearance uh whilst also looking very monstrous you know with the flame hair and the the sort of the bat wing ears and things like that so i think this is an absolutely fantastic dream snap i think you've done really really well with this one uh the theming definitely comes across very very well next up we have a submission here from talon and this is fantastic i really really love this it's kind of like almost like a mechanic kind of studio kind of vibe uh studio what do i mean by studio office no um i don't know the word i'm looking for here where do mechanics work workshop like a workshop <laughs> i'm sorry i don't know why i lost all my words there it looks like a mechanic kind of a uh, practical kind of workshop scientist workshop i don't know like the, you, do you know the kind of thing you know people who deal with technical items uh we have the desk here from the big hero 6 bundle we've got another desk in the background there we've got this table here which has a phone on it you know we've got all these like practical technology kind of based items i think personally uh, it goes very, very well. Possibly a scientist studio. Again, studio. Why do I keep saying studio? A scientist laboratory kind of vibe. Maybe you're doing experiments. I don't know. But it's very, very cool. I really like this. We've got all the awards and plaques on the wall, which tie into you constantly being employee of the month. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting. 
I love your character's outfit and appearance. I think that's brilliant. And what I love especially is the fact that you've decided to block Mike because we all know the running joke with Mike is that he doesn't feature in the photo. He's always obscured by something. And I think that's a fantastic way to do it in this shot. So yeah, brilliant dream snap. I really love this. I think it's creative, unique, different and very very on theme. Next up we have a submission from Film Brat and I really really like this. I think this is super fun. You know we've got like the canteen snack area here with the snack machine, the little fridge and the kind of like coffee table microwave section here. We have a bunch of desks set up over here so we've got this desk which has like a little cake on it, a little shake and some files. We've got some more files here and the energy drink. We also have the desk that you're at with all the files, the little pencil pot, the energy drink. It's, it's definitely giving off those work office environment vibes. Uh, but perhaps a little like waiting room space here or maybe just like a chill out space for the workers during their downtime. We have the plaques on the wall which is very very cool. It's definitely giving Monsters Inc theming. I love the professional kind of attire that you're wearing and I love that we've got Mike in the shot as well. So we're definitely leaning into those Monsters Inc vibes. We're definitely leaning into the work vibes and things like that. So I think this is a really, really fun submission. Very creatively done. I like seeing your submissions each week. I remember seeing one of your very first snaps and seeing you improve and your snaps get better and better each week is just fantastic to see. Um, so yeah, brilliant job on this snap. Next up we have a submission from Nikki and this is meant to be a recreation basically of The Office, you know, the TV show The Office, the US Office. Um, so that's why there's all the cameras around but we do have that workplace environment. Now as I mentioned with the Beetlejuice one, you know, doing references can be very very risky. Um, I've certainly done references before as I said but what's important is making sure that even if you didn't understand the reference you understood the challenge. The theming of the challenge still comes through. And you've done that very well here. You know, you've got the desk set up. Um, you know, you've got the computers on them. You've got all the files and the paperwork. We also have a desk in the background with a laptop on it. Uh, we have all the office kind of like file cabinets and stuff like that so that all works with it we've got the awards on the wall you know for villager of the month we've got the trophy so it's definitely giving those employee of the month vibes your own appearance is very kind of like workwear inspired very formal so i do feel like even if people didn't understand that this was a reference to the office it would still come across as a office. It would still come across as a work scene. You know, it, it, it makes sense. You know, you can tell, oh, this person must be villager of the month, uh, employee of the month. You know, people who don't get the office reference might think the cameras are there to record your celebration for being employee of the month. That's how I would interpret it without knowing that it was an office themed snap like that's how I would look at it and this again like the Beetlejuice one is kind of how you do these references really well that you make sure they're strong enough as a submission to really relate to the theme and the kind of reference be just like a secondary fun kind of aesthetic if that makes sense this definitely has those employee and work vibes it definitely has you know employee of the month vibes with all the plaques on the wall and the balloons so it looks very celebratory so i think this is absolutely fantastic and a really creatively made snap and then last but not least, we have Roll Marianne Snap. I really, really like this snap. I love that you've got the Dream Snaps trophy there to really showcase that you're being awarded Employee of the Month, as well as the Employee of the Month kind of like wall decor in the background as well. We have Sully here, which definitely ties into that Monsters Inc. theming. Uh, we have your character who looks very, very monstrous. I love the uh, use of some of the 
Monsters Inc. theme pieces, you know, the scream canisters, the files in the background on that table, you know, the kind of like electrical panel that you've got. So it all ties in very, very nicely to the theming. You look like you're someone who works at, you know, Monsters Inc. You've got your trophy and yeah, I think this is fantastic. Very fun and creative. I like the little comedy night sign in the front of the shot. You know, giving that little reference to Mike, even though he's not here, because obviously you can only have one villager inside of a shot at a time, unless you're able to track a quest, in which case then you can sometimes have two. Um, but generally speaking, inside you can only have one villager. So it's nice that we got those references to kind of like both of them in the shot. And yeah, I think this is a really well created snap and I hope it does well for you. Well, there you have it. That is it for the employee of the month dream snaps. Uh, it's been an absolute joy going over all of your submissions. You've all done absolutely well. You've all come up with fun and unique creations. I hope that you all get 4K because you all certainly deserve it. And it's been so much fun getting to review and look over your dream snaps each week. As I mentioned before, if you do want to be featured in a video like this, join the Discord, post in the Dream Snaps channel, and you could be featured on the next video. Um, to all my channel members, my subscribers, to anyone that likes and comments on my video, thank you all so, so much for your support. I do really, really appreciate it, and you really make this channel special. So thank you all so, so much. To everyone who's watched the video, thank you so much for your time today. I do hope you have a fantastic one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.